I'm going to show you guys how I like to set up a simple little experience and level up system where once you kill enough enemies, you'll level up and it'll increase some stats on your player. And this is all going to be done using the observer pattern. And so I have this project and scene set up already, but it really doesn't matter where you're at in your project. We're going to be able to adapt this wherever you're at. And my starting point is basically I just have some enemies I can shoot at. And right now they're not doing anything. I got rid of all the experience and leveling up system. And in this example, the experience is going to be gained when the enemies die, but it doesn't have to be that. The system's really going to be able to work however you want to gain experience in your game. So the first thing I'm actually going to do, and this is kind of optional, is create a C-sharp script and call this character. And more than anything, this script's really just going to be a placeholder to help give us an example of how you might adapt this into your game. And depending on the game type that you're making, it might not matter if it's a character or something else. The real idea is we want to store some sort of stats here as well as our current experience and our level. That's all going to be handled here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a couple integers. I'm going to start with current health, max health, and these will act as my like example stats, as well as current experience and max experience. And the last thing I'm gonna make is a current level. So we have our stats, we have some experience trackers and our level tracker. And really all we really need is our experience and our max experience as well as our current level. The health stats are pretty arbitrary and it's just gonna depend on what you need in your game. But I'm gonna go ahead and slap this on my player and I'll just default these values now to something like this. All right, so now let's talk about the system itself. We have three enemies here, and every time I kill one, we basically want whatever experience value they're worth to be rewarded onto the player. That makes sense, but I don't really want the player and the enemies to be so directly tied like that. And also, I don't know if killing enemies is the only way the player is going to gain experience throughout my game. That's just like what's going on right now, but I wanted something a little bit more robust. So I'm actually going to create a new game object, an empty game object, and I'm going to call this experience manager. And then I'll also create a new C sharp script and I'll call it the same thing, experience manager, and I'll go ahead and attach this. And basically what I want to happen is when something happens that earns experience, I want it to communicate with the experience manager and then that's gonna fire off an event that the player is gonna to listen to and the player who has the character script is going to basically change their experience based on that event being called. So let's open up the experience manager and we can go through this really fast. I'm gonna go ahead and make this a singleton. So we'll start with a public static experience manager and we'll call this instance. And this is a reference to itself. And then we'll go ahead and use the unity awake method. And in here, we just wanna say if the instance is not equal to null and the instance is not equal to this, then we want to destroy this. Otherwise, we wanna set instance equal to this. And this conditional here is really just making sure that there's only ever going to be one experience manager in our scene active at a time. And this is just our singleton check. You don't need to worry about this really. Where this gets more interesting is we're actually gonna make a public delegate. We'll have this as a void return type. We'll call this experience change handler and we'll provide an integer amount. And then we wanna create an event after this. So we'll say public event. The return type is going to be this delegate of an experience change handler. And we'll call this on experience change. So we have our delegate and our event, and it just provides an integer amount. All we want to do with this experience manager for now is say public void add experience with our integer amount. And within add experience, all we really want to do is invoke our on experience change event, which is really easy to do. We can just say on experience change. We'll then add a question mark. This is going to safeguard us from nulls, and we'll say dot invoke we'll pass in our amount and that's it. With just these few lines of code, we now have an experience manager we can call from anywhere in our game and then call the add experience method, which will invoke our on experience change event, which might sound convoluted, but let's take a look at how easy this actually is to use in practice. Moving on over to my enemy script, there might be a lot of things going on in here and you need to consider yourself with zero of it. The only thing I really want to change in here, and it's just for the example more than anything, is underneath all this, I'm going to add an integer, which will be private, and I'll call this XP amount, and I'll default this to something like 100. So each enemy is gonna be worth 100 experience. And so it's gonna be up to you to determine how much experience you want things to provide. But scrolling on down, you'll see this enemy has a die method here, which happens when they run out of health. And now I simply just wanna say experience manager dot instance dot add experience of our XP amount. And now every time an enemy dies, it's gonna invoke our method and provide 100 experience. Super, super simple. And so we can actually go ahead and start killing these enemies. And while the enemies are gonna be firing off those events, 
nothing's actually listening to the change in experience. There's no observers. And so that's the last missing piece of this puzzle. But fortunately, it's very easy to add that as well. So remember, our character script is attached to our player. Let's go ahead and create a method that will address any incoming experience. So I'll say private void handle experience change. And I'll say integer new experience. And then within this is actually gonna be very, very simple. We'll just say current experience plus equals new experience, right? So we're just adding on the incoming experience. And now we just wanna make sure to see if we leveled up or not. So we can say if the current experience is greater than or equal to our max experience, well, then we want to level up, which doesn't exist yet. So underneath this function, let's create a new one. I'll say private void level up. So what a level up means in your game is gonna, you know, depend on what your game's about. But let's just say for example, we wanted to increase our max health by 10. Maybe if you're making an RPG, you wanna increase some of your stats like strength and agility and all that type of stuff, or your player speed or whatever you really want. But this would be a good place to do so. And so I'm just gonna set the current health equal to the max health after we increase it. So you'll go back to full health. We'll of course increase our level by one. And then I'll just set our current experience equal to zero. So there's not gonna be any carryover if you go over it. And I'll make sure for our next level that our max experience is increased by say 100. So it takes a little bit longer to level up the next time. And this is a very basic, boring example of a level up, but it's just to give you an idea of what could happen. So now when our experience reaches our max experience, we reset it, increase some stats, increase our level, and we're good to go. And you can also call any UI updates here in your game if you have them as well to show our experience bar increasing or our level increasing, things like that. So now the real last piece is actually just executing this handle experience change. Because right now this isn't getting called from anywhere. So again, using our Unity lifecycle methods, we could say on enable, and we want to say experience manager.instance.onExperience change, which is the event we created earlier. And we just want to say plus equals our handle experience change. You don't want to use the parentheses. That would be invoking it. We're just referencing it here. And then on disable, we want to do the same thing. Experience manager .instance on experience change, except minus equals and the same function call. And this way we're subscribing to the event as well as unsubscribing from events. And it's a good idea to unsubscribe from an event when something is disabled, so you're not actually calling logic for a game object that's you know not active or a component that's not active. Anyway, so now every time that event gets invoked, handle experience change gets called with the amount, which means we can see that our character is currently level one with zero experience and our max health is 10. So if I go ahead and I kill some of these enemies, we should expect that now I can check it again and you'll see that we leveled up. Our current health is now 20. Our max experience has increased from 300 to 400, and our current level is now two. So it's nothing too complicated. It's really just a quick thing to get going to. It only takes like less than 10 minutes to set this up. If you need any help, leave a comment down below. I'll try and get back to you. But thanks for watching, and let me know what you guys think about it. See you in the next one.